Hi, everybody. Say it's Neil Johnston, and I am, am in the congregation. And I am been working with Linda Hildebrandt and the others <clears throat> in the Parish Life Committee about coming up with uh, an intergenerational art project. And this will be a virtual art project. Uh, and uh, we have um, some templates that have been made available to you. These are, uh, I think they're PDFs. Uh, one is about postcards, and the other has a hexagon or two hexagon forms on them. Now, um, the first thing you need to do is to make sure that you print these out on cardstock paper. So they need to be on heavier weight paper. There's been some, uh, some paper has been made available at the church, so if you need some heavier cardstock, you can stop by or call the church office and get some there. Um, but you print these out, and then you will have a nice template. It's very important when you print them out to print them out at 100% scale, so don't print them uh, fit to page. So make sure that they are at uh, uh, that you're printing them at 100%. That way, they're all going to be the same size. If you do fit to page, usually what happens is uh, it scales down a little bit, and we'll have some that are the wrong size. So it's very important for the success of this project that everything is at 100%. So we will have um, some postcards that we're going to make and some hexagons. Now, the idea here is that we will each make and decorate, design, color, create a hexagon that represents us as individuals that then we will bring together and put together into a larger mural when we are able to co finally come together and congregate. Uh, and we will make a community mural. So that's like a community art piece, an art piece that represents us uh, and our congregation at the church. The postcards are kind of the flip for that. They are sort of reaching out and bringing art uh, out into a community and uh, out beyond ourselves. So um, a lot of artists right now are creating postcards and sending them to people uh, as ways to um, brighten someone's day, really. I've gotten one in the mail, uh, and I've sent a few out now. And uh, the idea is that you just mail someone a postcard, and you, you, you're you trying to create a surprise for them in their mailbox and spread some joy. Uh, and so the postcard part of this project, uh, you print these out, then you'll cut them in. You get four postcards. Uh, and then the idea is that you make some nice... Um, art for someone and you send it to them. Um, it's amazing how much just a little note uh, can really make someone's day. I'm going to switch my cameras um, so you can see my workspace. I'm just going to show you a few things uh, with these templates. So here's my workspace and uh, you can see that I have um, the, uh, this is the four up postcard uh, that, that's been printed out. Uh, and you would cut this into fours on the back. You would decorate it. Uh, you might run, you could write a little note here, and then address it, put the correct postage on, and go and brighten up someone's day. Reach out to somebody. Uh, and then this is an example of the um, template for the hexagon. You can see I've used my scissors and I've cut out one of the hexagons. We've given you two so that you have multiples. Um, we really only need one back per person, um, but uh, for families, you know, then you can kind of get two out of one piece. Again, there is cardstock paper at the church for you to use. Now, once you have this cut out, then it's up to your creativity. You can do just about anything you want in here. Some of the more interesting things I thought about um, uh, and possibilities was is sort of maybe if you're a writer you could write a story kind of going in spirals around this. If you're a poet you can write some poetry. If you want to use um, cut and paste um, some uh, magazine pictures and things and create a collage you could do that. You could use I have watercolor pencils here and markers and regular pencils so you could do a drawing. Um, it doesn't have to be naturalistic. It could be totally abstract, just colors. Colors are inspiring. However, we do want you to think about the word unity. So unity, what does the idea of unity mean to you? Have your thoughts on unity changed uh, during, during this pandemic? And uh, maybe the protests, you have some ideas about that. So um, this is where um, you can express yourself in your... Um, your hexagon, as you see, it doesn't really have a top. It's kind of a circular form. And so you could do things in spirals. You could use a ruler and divide this up in geometry, which is exactly what my friend 
Ken Baltus does. Now, he kind of came up with the hexagon group project idea. And he's an artist, and he's also a mathematician, and he makes math art. So he makes art about math formulas, and he does uh, math on a stick at the state fair, and he does this um, hexagon project with kids. So you hand this to someone, and then you decorate it, and then you put them together. You can see how they fit in with each other on a big mural, and they really do that. Now, what's also neat about hexagons is that these things remind me of bees, and bees and honeycombs and making and nature and community coming together. This structure is really a wonderful metaphor to help us and remind us of nature, remind us of community, a community of insects uh, working and community of, uh, you know, insects are doing lots more than just their work, right? They are uh, pollinating and doing wonderful things for the garden. I'm just, just outside and I was watching the garden and it was, uh, the bees are just everywhere, so busy right now. So uh, this is absolutely a wonderful metaphor for our community coming together. So long story short, you get a nice um, hexagon that you can uh, decorate however you'd like. Um, if you're a sewer and do quilting or if you do felting, you could completely make this out of fabric. You certainly don't need to use um, this kind of paper. Um, it just needs to be this form and exactly this size. So you could use this as a pattern for um, fabric if you'd like. You can, um, I also mentioned, I already mentioned paper collage, but you could take this pattern and cut it out of heavier weight watercolor paper and do watercolor, a watercolor hexagon. Um, the template is there um, just um, for you to make sure that we get it exactly the right size and then make your design. When you're finished, then um, you want to um, mail or drop it off at the church, and that's 3115 Victoria Street uh, North in Roseville, Minnesota. It's 55113. Uh, and then when we're all able to um, come together in person, we will uh, make this in one united piece about unity, about our community. Uh, and uh, you'll see a re they really make a wonderful um, collage together. Um, so again, you can use color, you can use crayons, you can use paint, you can use markers, you can just use, if you just want to do black and white, that's just fine. You can write on it, you can do uh, poetry, short story, um, musings, um, collections of words, um, anything you'd like. Uh, and then uh, on the back, um, if you could, write your name on the back so, you know, that we know kind of, we can kind of commemorate um, whose it was. Um, but the front should be like your design. Well, I hope that explains everything uh, just fine. You can uh, contact uh, Linda Hildebrandt or myself, Neil Johnston. And uh, if you want to brainstorm about this, um, especially if you can't meet us on the June 28th uh, Zoom event, uh, for this event. So, well, have a wonderful time doing this. I hope you enjoy it, and I look forward to seeing you soon.